dealing with about 66 degrees Fahrenheit. It's 5,711 miles on the odometer. It is a Wednesday, November 6, 2024. Start off a little earlier because we have these catering ones at the restaurant. So we're headed off to delivery catering edition. Yeah, it looks like they're having a huge office party at the JPS network. They probably got like 70 different pastas. I guess I unloaded a bunch of them. I don't know, a dozen or more pizzas. Then they have another separate smaller drop at an ER right here. At least that's the lady pointed over here. Yep. That's the photo. Yep, it's that one right there. The photo. She pointed at the photo. Did a pretty good time. Had it about two minutes after, so they were waiting out there, looking pretty hungry. And this is the ER drop right here. So if, you need, if you're in an ER, if you're an ER doctor, you want to get some pizza or something, you can give it to some of the patients. Right. Looks like we got it, got it delivered. Pretty big order. Okay, I'm right in the ER, so. Other guys hang around talking to them. I'm like, we gotta get off their block. Freaking emergency room. It's probably the worst place to park in the entire world. Would be the ER. He's over there chatting with them, but I don't know. I guess I guess he can for now. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. These these are gonna be taken. All this is gonna be taken. the order all right all right so one of the drops is right here the other one was the er over that way pretty big pizza order uh, biggest one yet that i've done dealt with probably i think that one had like over 70 pastas and it was like about two vehicles full of uh pizza Yeah, Kimball Art Museum is doing Dutch art in a global age. It's November 10th, which is coming up here pretty soon. If you're interested in Dutch art in a global age, you want to go to the Kimball. That's what this sign right here is for. Kimball's on the other side. Yeah, this is Sonic. Looks like. I'm probably just going to go with the number 14 breakfast burrito bacon. It's only three ninety nine, about four bucks. You can obviously tell it's Sonic. They also have two for six mixed match until eleven a.m. That actually looks good because it's four ninety nine. You get a small cold brew. Let's check that out. cold brew in a long time. It's a mix match for six dollars. Hey, excuse me. Y'all yeah. have a mix match for two, uh, six dollars? Uh, it's before 11. What time is it right now? Oh, see, I just found out. Um, on the cold brew, you can only mix match with one breakfast item, but you have to do it before 11. It's 11.38. So I'll just go back to the breakfast burrito, bacon, It'll be number 14. It's not right here. Uh, yeah, so it comes to 432? Okay, come on, what, sir? Uh, it's 432 total. Yes, sir. Alrighty, thank you. You're welcome. You know, I just came upon an idea. 
And I got this breakfast burrito. What about they made a movie called Large Marge the Movie? It's about a little, like a like you get someone that looked kind of like Alice Nunn who played Large Marge, and it's like a younger version of Large Marge. You know when it led up to the crash, and it goes all the way to the point where she picks up Pee Wee. The only thing is, is that you know we don't really see Pee Wee like he's in the shadows, so we could use a someone that looks like Paul Rubens, and you know it follows her life as a truck driver, a female truck driver large marge the the movie i don't know it just hit me for some reason i don't know i was just thinking about i was watching adam the woo and i was thinking like he mentioned something about mini marge you know mini marge and i was thinking mini marge because he has this like uh, atv and he called his rv large marge and he had a mini marge which was a, a g this gym thing it's like a it's like a golf cart he calls it mini marge and i was thinking wait a minute okay Large Marge is a little girl, then is a teenager, then she gets her truck driving license, she goes on the road, and then it follows her, you know, and she stops off at the Will Inn diner and has friends there, and it's a whole, be, it'd be a pretty cool little script if anyone wants to write it. Well, the reason why I mention um, Large Marge, the movie, is because I worked with Diane Salinger. She was my acting coach. She could play the grandma of Simone because she's older now. And let's say she even knew Large Marge. Th this could be this could be a pretty good movie idea. And so, you know, they had a thing at the Will Inn Diner and she could come in, have some coffee. And Large Marge is like, you know, she's like, tell them Large Marge sent you, you know, all that stuff. She'd pick up people and have these conversations on her, her semi. You know, I mean, it could go in any direction, really. But you could throw in some Tim Burton kind of stuff. I mean, you'd have to talk to Tim Burton, maybe, because, you know, he, he was behind all these characters, him and Paul Rubens. Paul Rubens, you can't talk to unless you have a, a seance. But um, it would be kind of funny. Uh, you'd have to you'd have to get a look-alike, although they could do digital for the older version of Large Marge. People are kind of against it. Or you could just get a really good makeup artist and find someone to dress up to play an older Large Marge as well. Tell them Large Marge sent you. Yes, he is. He's in the wrong window. Anyway, it's, it sounds like it's an exercise. Yeah. We're by a base. So, an Air Force base. I mean, I'm sorry, it's, it's a Navy base. Yeah, there it goes. Emergency siren. Weather siren. Also known as a tornado siren. There's Kitty. How you doing? You enjoying your condo, kitty? You stay warm in there, okay? Can I have your paw? Thank you. You're a good kitty. It's a good kitty.
Hmm, let's see, we have a new fence right here. Oh, it's a road. It's Burton Hill Road. All right, this is the Fort Worth train depot. It's where all the trains come in. over the Trinity River. There it is. You can bring your dog in there and have coffee or you know get us uh, breakfast or whatever or a cafe if you have a dog i don't know if they'd welcome cats though if we brought ed then i don't know if he would enjoy it it's called mutt stuff right at the clear fort and they have a um, bowling ring right here called pinstripes right next to the movie theater and the amc i believe i haven't been there but it's really pretty on the outside if you and they have a mural of a lot of hollywood figures and stuff inside of that This is kind of a clear area. They have a Christmas tree right there. So they're, I'm gonna pass kind of by. They have a lot of music playing. So it is a little difficult to vlog if you're on the sidewalks, you might get a copyright hit. Um, but it's easier in the vehicle. But yeah, this is gonna be like a little Christmas area for the shops at Clear Fork. And they've got little special lights and stuff like that that shine downward. So they could easily do like a Christmas play or some kind of pageant or something like that right there. It's got like a green covering. It's known as the Clear Fort. You can see the sign right there. There's like a French restaurant, a Vietnamese restaurant. I think a couple of Italian restaurants. This is a Mexican one right here called Maceros. It's really nice. Um, it's got like um, open flame um, pits that you can sit by. It keeps you kind of warm outside really they have tons of stuff here they have a, a mattress store a kendra scott which is right here and these are all apartments above so if you live here you can just go down and get some clean juice right there something called aroma 360 and a luna grill um which is pretty popular they do like chicken dishes and things like that. The fresh me 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 um, Mediterranean food. There's Doc's Bees, Fresh Kitchen. That one's very popular. I'll the window here for a second. And then there's Joy's Macaroons right there. They're a little expensive on the Joy's Macaroons, 
but it's very fancy. And they have another macaroon place that's directly across, but they also serve ice cream, gelada too. They do gelada, if you like gelada. And then there's a Tonian guy, which is kind of hard to find. It's a pretty good haircut place. It used to be the place I'd go to get a haircut. Tonian guy's really good. And the center of the whole thing is free parking. Neiman Marcus, they've got uh, everything like that. And then of course, AMC over there. But I'm just gonna show you the free parking. This is the Clear Forks. Um, it's called the Shops of the Clear Forks, but it's also a place where you can actually live too. And it's right here, parking garage. And there's several floors, like one, two, three, four, maybe. I don't know, I guess the top one is the fifth floor. It also will show you when you're driving in how many spaces are available. Right now it's not very crowded. So we're only gonna go on the second floor, but you have 600 spaces available. So it gives you kind of an idea if you're going there. Okay, they've got a car wash open today too. I don't know where that would be. Someone's squealing their wheels. I don't think it would be in the parking garage, but they're advertising it there. Over stairs. Elevators are way over here. We always take the stairs. This is a really cool little area that pops out. Right here. Kind of reminds me of this backstage Broadway thing. You ever been to Broadway, New York? It's real quiet. Alright. Well, I heard the news. I didn't get to vote, but um, I don't know. Part of me thought, you know, Trump probably was gonna win because when he got shot in the ear, it's, it's a lot of dedication. He continued to run. Uh, so that's what happened. But it would have been weird to have a first woman president, but I don't know if we're ready for that. We may not be. After all, if anyone would have got that, it would have been Hillary. But she didn't either. And she lost pretty badly. Anyway, it's a good try though. Hey, after all, Kamala got to get on Saturday Night Live and me being an actor or anyone out there, that would be a dream come true. So she got to do a good run. And she can always, she can always run again. All right, we're gonna come out this way, but I probably would have voted for the one that's more pro-life. This one. All right, now we're into the copyright music. And outside here, not too bad. So it doesn't blare the music too bad. This is basically the shops of uh, Clear Fork. I'll check out. I think Gelata. Yeah, Gelata is this way. It's basically a place where you can get ice cream. All right, now that's cookies. We're actually looking for ice cream. I think they may have ice cream in there, but cookies section is on the other side. They're advertising a Mercedes here under Park Place, Motor Cares in Fort Worth. Nice little Mercedes. It's got a uh, panoramic top right here. Best on my I got on the, the mileage 21. It's kind of low. It's like a sports car kind of thing. Here's the inside of it. But if you're getting a vehicle like this, you're probably not worried about gas. It's a GT43. Park place. Anyway, and here is what I was talking about earlier the Christmas tree. I drove by. I've got some, for some reason, they have an avocado. Right here, I was going to show it to you, but uh, they have an open avocado right here. I guess because it's like a food place, and it's like an open area for performance and stuff.
They have a Tiffany's here too. Oh, and they have a directory as well. Here's the directories. It's actually a touch screen. You can kind of find out where you're at. Right here, stores. Something I'm gonna put in gelato for food. Oh yeah, I think it's this one, the gelato. Madagascar. The Madagascar is actually one of the best ones. It's bourbon. Let's see. Have a mango. I have these little maroons. Macaroons, I guess. I'm sorry, macaroons. Next door, they have this little uh, pizza place. Well, it's kind of a, a pub and pizza place called City Bird. Pick two items for thirteen forty-five for lunches. They have a happy hour. See Dolby. There's a little gate that opens right here. I kind of showed you the mural earlier. I mean, in earlier vlogs. I'll show it to you again in a minute. Looks like we live in time. It's Andrew Garfield. Smile too. And then uh, till death do they, they part. Venom last dance. I guess it's Venom last dance. Tom Hardy. Dados? Is that what it's saying? No, D-A-D-O. D-A-D-O. I just tried to count his money. All right, cool. These are cute houses too, right next to the shops. They have houses and apartments, and apartments above the shops. There's another... And there's Linda. Hi, Kitty. Hey, 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 Kitty.